Welcome back to Conversation to Close. This is Sean. And today I'm going to be showing you how to simply set up your Google Sheet so you can most effectively track your leads as you're using Deal Sniper. If you're sending out 20 offers a day, like you should be doing, or 100 offers a week, you need a way to keep track of those. You need a way to make sure that when a realtor calls you back, whether it's in a day, a week, or a month, you know exactly what you sent them without having to scramble through your email and see what's going on. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first things first, let's go through the whole process. We'll use the state where I live and let's go, let's pick one. So first let's set up our settings. Okay. So I'm in the state and then I want to go to my filters. All right. For filters, I want to leave this open. I mean, unless you're actively looking for, like if you're doing like reverse wholesaling or something like that, and you have a buyer in mind that's looking for certain properties, then by all means, narrow it down. But if not, just keep it open. It raises your possibilities of having all the properties open to you so that you can make your offers. Second thing you want to do, leave this open as well. I would stay away from land. I would also stay away from mobile homes, uh, houses, single families, multifamily, townhouse, condo, co-ops. Those are all fine. All right, so here, status. I don't want coming soon. I actually only want to deal with this one here. Time on Redfin. More than 60 days. Very important. And then all the rest of this, again, unless you're looking for something specific, you can keep all this completely open. Um, new construction. Well, if it's a new construction that's been on market for 60 plus days, I say, sure, go for it. Foreclosures, that's fine. Um, leave short sales out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with, with, uh, short sales at all. And let me see if there's anything else. No, that's good. So there, just in this little area fitting my criteria, I have 107, I have 1,765 possibilities. So now I'm just going to go down the list. Um, let's pick this one. Now, why am I picking this one? Well, because it's vacant. Chances are they're the creative financing offer will be more appealing because whoever owns this property doesn't currently live in it, which means they don't need the entire $397,500 in order to make the deal work. They don't need to use the money to move, put down a down payment on other property, so on and so forth. This one does break my rule of don't go any higher than 350,000, but that's for you guys. I've got this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one. Um, Let's see how long it's been listed for. Uh, where do they put that on here? Oh, it's been listed for that long. You took it out. Really? I didn't even know you could do that. Huh. Anyway, okay, doesn't matter. So because of my settings, I know that it's 60 plus days. So I'm going to copy the uh, address. I'm going to paste it into Deal Sniper. I'm going to hit search. Boom, there's the property selling for $397,500, been on market for 70 days. This is fantastic. So I'm going to go down to this property, I have a mortgage, always assume that it's no mortgage. Back to the cleaning up the letters. I have sent out, I sent out 15 contracts day before yesterday. And I want to say half of them, you guys did not clean up your numbers. So clean up your numbers and just do it logically. We're offering $437,250. I don't want to do that. Just $435,000. It's still over the asking price. It's over the asking price. We're just cleaning it up. Same thing with this. Seller finance amount, $404,550. No, just how about four hundred five? dollars Just clean it up. Monthly payment, $753.36. No, I'm good. I'm good on that. So seven, oh, no, 700 bucks, $70,000, no, 700 bucks. Okay, perfect. So now that I've got the info, you do your normal thing. So let's go back to Realtor and let's check. This is listed by Laura Carson, KMS Realty. Now you notice no phone number, no email address. Well, that's okay. Go to Google. And we're going to Google it. There she is. And now we're going to use this to find her email address or boom, her phone number. So in this situation, since her email address isn't listed, 
I would give her a call and I would say, hey, Laura, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. I have an offer that I'd like to submit on 5541 East Mabel Street, but I can't see your email address listed anywhere. Can you please get that to me as soon as you can? I'd like to get this offer to you by the end of the day. That's it. That's all I got to say. So once you have that, you go back into Deal Sniper. You put her name there. You put your information here. You copy and paste this entire, whoop, this button, copy and paste the whole thing, put it in an email, hit send. Now, that's Deal Sniper. Here's for the tracking. So you want to set up a Google Sheet. I've already started to set it up, but I wanted to show you guys some of the things you're going to have to do. There may be a better way to do this in Google. I don't know how. This is the way I know how to do it. So address, realtor name, this part here, you can set up however you want. I kept it very basic because this is really all you need. First thing I want to do is I want to lock this. So I'm going to uh, right click here all the way down, freeze row one. So now I can scroll, but row one will stay there. That's just something I like. Also, you know what? I like a little bit of color. Let's do green from Monday. Okay, cool. So here's what I want to do. You want to set this up to where it's very streamlined, very easy for you to navigate. You can put anything you want on here as long as you have this pertinent information. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the address. So let's get the address. Is this going to add a few minutes to you sending out offers? Yes, it is. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Are you going to be in a bad spot if you don't have this? Yes, you will. So I recommend just, just do it. You really don't like doing the one line thing, do you? And again, there could be a better way to do this. This is the way that I know how to do it. Realtor name. Let's go ahead and get Laura's info. Okay. Realtor email we don't have yet. Realtor phone number we do have. Of course, this is her office, but that's okay. You have to get on the phone and talk to realtors at some point. You might as well start by asking, hey, what's your email address? I have an offer. Why did that not copy? Mm, I don't want to copy the link. Yeah, just copy. There we go. Okay. Property link. Very simple. Scroll all the way up, copy this. Good to go. There's your link. And then your offer. Real simple. Go to Deal Sniper. All you need is this part right here. Copy that. And here's where some of the setup needs to happen. Okay. So, what you want to do for some reason, again, there could be a better way to do it. I don't know. But for some reason, if I don't make these larger, these boxes, it messes it up. I don't know why. And then you want to go up here. Don't paste it here. Go up here and then paste plain text. And then, unfortunately, you're going to have to control, nope, control A, select it all, and then just make it bigger so you can see it. And then you put the date sent. And boom, there you go. And you just do that for each one. Did that take a little bit longer? It did. It absolutely did. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Because if you don't have this stuff and you do get a phone call, you're either going to be scrambling through your email or you're going to rush and hurry up and put this back into Deal Sniper. Once you confirm what the address is, if you're not tracking it, and you may not remember what you changed the numbers to, you don't know the offer completely, and you look unprofessional. So get this Google Sheet set up. And the Google Sheet is great because if you ever wanted to, you can add me to it so that I can help you if you ever need help with a deal. Hey, Sean, take a look at line number four and tell me what you think. And then if you really want to get fancy, here, put this in. I just thought of this. Oh, oops. 
counter offer. So if they say, hey, I like your offer, but can we get more of a down payment, more of a monthly payment, more of a purchase price? You can literally put their counter offer here. And then that way, when you call me, DM me or whatever, you can say, hey, here's what they offered. What do you think? And I'll tell you right there on the spot. Yep, that's good. That works. Or nope, counter offer to this, this, and this. So I hope that answers your question on one, how to navigate Deal Sniper, how quickly it can happen. I mean, just getting this part generated took less than a minute. And then without me having to explain and teach how to do this, if I was just setting this up, it would have taken me another minute to copy and paste an address, a name, a phone number, a link, and my offer. That's it. That's all you got to do. Keep track of your deals. I hope that answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.